a mind of its own today. So does my skin, cause I'm on my period. It kept me up all night last night cause my cramps were so terrible. Love that I have to do this for the rest of my life every two weeks. <sighs> Fox fam, welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are having an awesome day. The past few days for me has been very, very rough. <clears throat> um, I had someone new start with me to help me with my animals, which has been great. Um, but of course, training someone always takes a lot of time and effort and I feel like I don't get a whole lot done when I'm training somebody, but put the work in now, it pays off later. Um, so that, and then also I've been on my period and I recently got off birth control to just to give my body like a break and just see. And then it became completely apparent to me that my cramps didn't go anywhere. They disappear when I'm on birth control and this light is like totally facing out. You're supposed to be lighting my face. What are you doing with your life? So I have been off birth control for a little bit now and um, I'm on my period and my skin is acting up. My cramps are so bad. I, I used to um, live in Louisiana and when I lived in Louisiana, I remember just laying on the bathroom floor in the dark because my, the, the cramping pain was so severe, just like debilitating. So last night I was up, like I woke up at 4 a.m. with these gnarly cramps and first I forgot I was on my period. I was like, oh, you just have to poop. Just get up and poop and you're going to be great. You're going to be fine. So then I did that and no, 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 no. <laughs> it lasted for like an hour and a half and it was just awful. So then I rubbed some CBD oil on my stomach and Leo's barking outside, excuse him. And um, I put some on my tongue and I got better in about an hour. I took some Midol too. If you guys have any tips for me, please leave them in the description box. What do you do? What helps you with your period cramps? And if you're past that and in menopause, I heard that that's awful too. So my heart goes out to you. Um, let's get into this video. So you might be a little like, okay, what's up with the title of this? So. The last video I uploaded here on YouTube was about the new Wet n Wild collection and it was sponsored by Dermalogica and a few people had an issue with the fact that I did not give the Wet n Wild skincare a fair chance trying it on camera. Um, so I wanted to come back and give it a chance for you guys because I know that some of you do not have the money to spend on a brand like Dermalogica and I totally respect that. Um, but I'll tell you where I'm coming from and my side of it. So uh, you may or may not know, I own Arctic Fox Hair Color. We formulate all of our own products. Um, we have an awesome chemist. And so coming from that side of things, I know that good ingredients are not dirt cheap. So I get a little concerned when skincare is really, really, really cheap. Like I'm talking like below $8. It does freak me out a little bit because good ingredients that are good for your skin the the people that 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 get those ingredients they know that it is a good ingredient they know that it's expensive they know well they know that people are going to pay a lot of money for it so typically they jack up the prices just like with organic food and things like that so and that's not always the case but for the most part i try and stay in the range of like $12 skincare and up, not to say that absolutely everything below that is garbage. I'm not saying that at all. I am just saying from the brand side of things and picking out ingredients uh, myself for my own products, um, I know that good ingredients aren't usually that affordable. Um, and if it is, it's usually like the less good version of it. Like, I don't know if you guys remember when I was talking about how expensive Farsali was and I liked the product, but um, one of the types of, uh, I can't even remember now what it is, Ryan's the like ingredient expert, but he was pointing out to me that one of the ingredients in there is like the way cheaper version of the better ingredient and they were still charging a crazy amount. So Ryan's really good with ingredients and he kind of looks at all the ingredients and stuff and he'll like tell me about it. He's like really, really knowledgeable about that. So that's where I'm coming from with that. Um, but I also understand that not everybody can afford um, skincare. So I apologize for leaving that out. Um, uh, so today I'm going to give the skincare a chance and we're going to see today's a good day to do this because my skin is really not cooperating with me. As you can see, I'm breaking out a little bit here. Um, I'm on my period right now. Like I said, like a thousand times before, I think somebody commented, sent me a DM on Instagram too. They were like, you must've been having a really bad day. Like I'm not, I wasn't having a bad day when I filmed that. I just, 
I'm just honest with you guys. Like just because I don't like a product and I tell you why, I mean, this is not the, a good example because I didn't actually use these, but I'm just speaking in general. Like if I'm like, oh, I don't like the packaging or I don't like the product, it's not that I'm having a bad day. I'm just trying to be honest with you guys. That's what is lacking here on YouTube, I think is honesty about products. And I try to stay as honest about the things that I talk about and the things that I endorse because I remember what it is like to work really hard for your money. I still work very hard for my money. I remember when I used to make $9 an hour and you know, buying something like skincare or makeup is, that's like precious hard earned money. So I do only endorse things that I really, really truly love and I really think that you guys will too. So, um, please, like, I'm not having a bad day if I don't like something. I just, I'm just being honest with you guys, and I like to tell you my concerns with things. You are more than welcome to decide for yourself. Um, my opinion is not the end-all be-all. It's not right. It's an opinion. So let's move forward with that in mind and give this stuff a try, and we'll see what we think. Um, I did print out a paper with all the price information I think I left in my office. Trying that, I thought I took all these off. The first thing, so I kind of went through and I grabbed like all of the information about all these products um, with the pro tips so we can really use them exactly how they're meant to be used and in the order that they're meant to be used. Okay, so we're gonna start with the Rebel Rose Photo Focus Rose Toner. By the way, if you're sitting here and you're like, I didn't even see the first video, I will link in the description box below. We tried out the Rebel Rose Wet n Wild, Wet n Wild Rebel Rose Collection and some things were definitely a miss and some things were definitely like pretty good. So let's go ahead and get into this. Okay, so this is the rose toner. Imagine my backdrop. The packaging is actually really cool. It's glass, so I like that about it. It's got some really cool little designs. So this is $7.99 and you get 1.52 fluid ounces. Um, I don't know how I would feel about traveling with glass. I drop things a lot and so does uh, TSA <laughs> and like just traveling in general is pretty rough on your bags typically because um, they're trying to get your bags to you in a timely manner. So this says uh, it is the missing ingredient to your fairy tale skin routine, alcohol free, great. Hydrating and soothing toner works to refresh, soften, clarify, and skin while gently removing impurities for a storybook worthy romantic glow. Um, the Garden Fresh blend of black rose and rose water helps moisturize, nourish, and clarify the skin. Um, we definitely need some clarifying right now. And only further complemented by the subtle rose scent provided by the infusion of Rosa Demuncia flower extract. Wow, I think I butchered that. So we're supposed to hold the bottle a few inches away from your face before misting and apply uh, in an eight figure motion and for an evenly distributed application. Um, pro tip, allow your skincare routine to blossom into something totally new with the three step process. So this is the three step process with these guys too. So we'll start with the toner and we'll do, oh, that does smell really nice, okay. Now I did look up in the, the ingredients in all of these products. Like, okay, so I don't know if you know this, but basically so the ingredients that are first in the ingredient list are in the product the most. Like the majority of the ingredients are those things that are first. And then as you go, there's less and less and less traces of all of those things as you go down. So I, ch I checked out a lot of the ingredients in the beginning, um, things that I, I wasn't really sure what they were. And a lot of them were like all about hyd hydration and locking in moisture. Um, so it sounded pretty good. Okay, so that seems like just like a little toner that you leave on, so that smells really good. My skin doesn't feel any different. It's just kind of, you know, it is what it is. So next it says to go to the Rebel Rose Photo Focus Multi-Use Oil, which is this one. And I said this in the first video too, I think this is a really cool packaging, like how they've got the dried little petals in there. I think that really makes it look real pretty and stuff. Um, so this is a multi-use, so this was interesting. You can actually use this on your nails, your skin, your hair, your face, part of your skin. Um, so this says that it is a floral infused multi-oil, great for use on face, body, hair, and nails. Um, I was just looking at my nails, I could really use some oil, so we'll do that. Uh, blended with virgin passion fruit seed oil that softens skin and leaves it radiantly hydrated, moisturizes and nourishes skin with a special blend of vitamin E, sunflower seed oil, argan oil, um, infused with the same thing that I'm gonna butcher again, Rosa Damascina? 
flour extract. Oh my gosh, the water heater is so freaking loud in here. It's so loud! <laughs> Formula is lightweight, non-greasy, and easy, easily absorbed in the skin. Always shake well before use. Apply two to three drops in the palm of the hands and gently press into face, neck, and or body or where desired. I'm using the AM and PM after the photo focus toner. We're gonna go ahead, grab a little bit of, ah, oh, it's dripping already. Grab a little bit of this. One, two, three. Smells really good. It does smell wonderful like roses. Do I smell like roses to you? Scent, I'm really sensitive to scent today though because my stomach doesn't feel so good with all these cramps. But this is like pleasant and fresh and doesn't feel, it doesn't smell like fake, you know what I mean? That's interesting. So it doesn't really feel like a greasy oil, which is nice because I would never really want to put a bunch of greasy oil on my face before I do like my makeup and whatnot. So we're gonna let that soak in a little bit. I'm gonna take some of this and put it on my nails because my nails are kind of dry looking. We'll see what that, oh yeah, they look really good after. I don't know if you can see, my nails look kind of gross. I'll put this on because they're like grown out and really need to be redone. That like left my nails looking really nice. I need to put some chapstick on. I am not gonna be using the Beauty Balm from the collection, or is it called Beauty Balm? I don't know where that came from. I don't even know if that's what it's called. Their lip balm that they have, um, I didn't wanna use that because I used it in the first video and it made my lips like bright pink and it just disappeared off my lips so fast when I put it on. I really was not really liking that formula. There is a pH reactive lip balm. This is called Jelly Balm. So this looks like this, and it's kind of like a sheer, dark, black tinted um, jelly lip balm. So I'm gonna put this on right now. Supposedly it reacts um, to the pH levels in your skin and it gives you a sheer pink tint. So let's try this out. Whoa, that was quick. Uh, I'm just gonna put a little bit on. That's a shade of pink I would never wear. It feels like a very thin, cheap lip balm. Um, it doesn't really feel like hydrating and moisturizing. It feels like it kind of already disappeared into my lips. But let's go ahead and move on. This is the Rebel Rose Photo Focus Primer Serum. So it is a primer and a serum in one, meaning skincare as well as a primer that's meant to keep your makeup on. This is $7.99. Um, now with this, I did see in the ingredients that th this does contain red dyes, two different red dyes that I have written down here, red 28 and red 33. Red dyes are something that you're not supposed to put near your eyes and generally speaking, it's just not great for skin in general. So I don't think that that's necessarily a, a great product or a great ingredient in here, but I wouldn't say that it's like total horse shit because it has that in it. So let's give it a try. Um, it is really pretty. It kind of looks like kind of metallic-y. And this, these are all glass, by the way. So this says that this is a water-based face serum that shatters the beauty mold by moisturizing and prepping skin for longer lasting makeup, complemented by its subtle rose scent. The unique formula of the primer serum is only further improved through its infusion of assortment of botanical extracts, including cucumber and goji berry herbisol extracts to provide additional moisture and smoothness to the skin. So it says place two to three drops of primer oil. That's kind of weird that they call it primer oil when they call it primer serum. Onto the fingertips, gently massage into the skin. So one, two, three. So a little goes a long way, I guess. Starting from the center of the face, working outward, let oil fully absorb into the skin. I'm so confused. It said it was water bait, a water-based face serum, and now it they're saying oil. That's what's slightly confusing. So I'm gonna let this soak in for a few minutes before we start our makeup application. I'm gonna do the foundation on camera. I wanna see how a foundation that I have been using every day recently sits on this and how it reacts um, and see if it 
if it works well, if they play well together. But my skin feels pretty moisturized and hydrated right now without feeling like sticky or too oily, but it definitely needs to settle in for a little bit. So we'll check back in a couple minutes and we'll start our base routine. Okay, so the water heater is just gonna stay on because I think that we are doing laundry right now. And so we're just gonna have to deal with it. Annoying. So today I'm gonna be using the Morphe Fluidity Foundation. Let's go ahead and start applying this and see what we think. I've been using this foundation for weeks now, like pretty much since I got it and I tried it for the first time, I was like, oh my gosh, yes, I love this stuff. So if this isn't sitting right or sitting well on my skin, then I think I'll be able to know that it is what we put on the base, but hopefully it will work great and it will look better than usual which is hard to do because I really love this foundation, but you know. I was gonna put on fake tanner before I started this whole video and I didn't get around to it. So what I've been using for this foundation isn't like gonna match right now. So hopefully this is close to matching. <laughs> Seems like it's applying pretty well from far away. I do need to get a mirror a little bit closer in a minute and take a look, but I'm just applying this how I normally would. Okay, let's go ahead and look at this a little closer. I feel as pale as a ghost right now. <laughs> so far so good, it looks like it's applying fine. I don't know if I necessarily see a difference from how it usually applies, but this is good so far. I'm gonna go ahead and take a little break, do my brows and a little bit more of the makeup and then we'll come back and see how it's holding up um, because as I said before, I know how this foundation holds up. It usually lasts for hours upon hours and upon hours. Um, so if it ends up breaking up at all or doing anything like that, that's gonna be something that is not typical. Um, maybe the collection plays well and plays differently with different foundations. Who knows, all the ingredients are different. But we will check back in a few minutes. Probably take me about 10 minutes to get this going and then we'll see how it holds up. Okay, so I finished putting on all of my makeup and I have to say that it looks pretty dang good. My hair, on the other hand, <laughs> not so much, but um, this is sitting on my face really well. It's, I wouldn't say, I mean, I think it looks pretty great. Uh, this foundation does always look pretty great though. I really like this foundation. So it definitely didn't break up or break down or separate or do anything weird thus far. I think that um, skincare and things like that are something you kind of need to use continually before you start to see a difference one way or the other. But some really bad skincare, you can tell right off the bat that it's not working for your skin type. Um, or maybe it's not even bad skincare. It maybe just doesn't work for your skin because uh, that happens a lot. I will love something and then someone that I give it to or whatever is like, oh my gosh, that shit was awful. And I was like, really? Like, I loved it. So you just have to see what works for your skin. But I'm glad that we gave this a second chance and I don't mean we, I guess I mean me because I'm the one that kicked this to the curb in the, beginning, in the beginning. So I'm glad you guys requested to see this and I'm glad we did it. I think this is a good solution if this is in your um, price range and you enjoy the packaging. Uh, but for me, it worked really well. If you do get this and you don't like it, don't forget, you can always return it and get something that does suit your skin and your needs well. That's one great thing um, about stores here in the US. You can pretty much return anything you don't like for any reason. So let me know what you guys think of this. Um, how do you think it looks on my skin? Do you guys wanna try this? Have you already picked it up? Let me know in the comments below. I'm interested to see what you guys think since we went ahead and gave this another shot. Thanks for watching you guys and we will see you in the next video.